we should be creating jobs no question about it and i have a bill in h r twenty nine ninety puts the fed under treasury lets the government spend money into circulation create millions of jobs put america back to work prime the pump of the economy full employment economy goes way past humphrey hawkins get america back to work america needs to get back to work if that's what my friends are saying on the other side of the aisle we're together on that america has to get back to work but uh... we're gonna get back to work while having water that's not safe to drink air that's not safe to breathe we're gonna get back to work by having products that you don't know if your pets can consume them are we gonna get back to work having to worry about you know when we go to various salad bars if it's something we can consume or whether or not there's a proper food inspection are we gonna are we going to get america back to work by not checking on airplane safety is that how we get America back to work? Come on! There are certain regulations that are absolutely fundamental to running an organized society, whether you're a Democrat or Republican. So, you know, I understand wedge issues. This is a political climate. But let's not mix up this mutual concern that we have about creating jobs with this country by trying to score some points saying, well, you know, there are regulations that are bad. I'm sure there's regulations that don't work. I'm not somebody who believes the government has a solution to everything. I know better than that. I've been here for 16 years. I understand that much. But I know one other thing. When you take a broad approach to try to knock out regulations, you're looking for trouble. You're going to create trouble. And that's what this does. So, you know, I'm, uh, I'm urging a no vote, and I'll have more to say on an amendment that I have. Thank you very much.